Hi, it's time for the math. Easy solution. Uh, to discuss further into conic sections and now look at further at hyperbolas and go over an example. Go over example one on that. And I actually went over this example uh, several years ago uh, on hyperbolas, but now I'm um, uh, revisiting it again just to better tie it into conic sections uh, on that series that I've been covering uh, this past few months. And also go in it uh, in more detail than I uh, used to go. Uh, uh, in my earlier videos. And now let's just jump right in and uh, look at this example. It states, find the foci and asymptotes of the hyperbola 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144 and sketch its graph. Yes, yeah, so uh, the first steps in going about this is, well, first of all, what I'll do is uh, just recall the, the hyperbola from earlier videos on the definition. So, so recall that hyperbola is uh, the standard form of writing it is like this, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared. That's in the same form over there, and then equals to one. And then if you were to graph this, uh, it would look something like this. This is a horizontal hyperbola, so y is the x, because it's x squared minus the y squared. And it's gonna look something like this. Let's put this down across there, and then this one across here like that. And now the foci over here, the foci is going to be, well, remember, it's just going to be the values across over at this point, and this is going to be at c and 0. And I'll get to over here, this is the foci, this is going to be negative c and 0. And this point right here is where the vertices are, and this is going to be at negative a and 0. Here is, neg is just positive a and 0. a and 0. And if this is the origin over there, and then uh, recall that the asymptote line just goes across like this, goes all the way across, and all the way down here, the asymptote lines, and they go across like this through the origin in this case, and it keeps going on. And then this one is uh, y equals 2 plus, uh, this is going to be the positive one of b over a uh, times x. That's just a that's the asymptote line over there. And then this one that goes downwards, this one is. Uh, y equals to negative b over a. And again, make sure to watch my earlier video. I'll put that link in the description below for the derivation of this. Yeah, so just to list this out, so the foci, the foci are uh, at plus or minus c and zero. And then the vertices, uh, yeah, we're just asked in this case, just to vote foci and asymptotes, but just write vertices anyways. Vertices are at this, uh, plus or minus a and zero. And then also we know that uh, c, let's write where c squared equals to a squared plus b squared, as I covered in my earlier video. And now the asymptote lines like this are asymptote y equals to plus or minus b over a times x. Yeah, so now that we just uh, quickly recapped on that, now we can just look at this equation, 9x squared minus 16y squared equals 144, and put it in this form, and we can do that by dividing both sides by 144. So I'll write thus, we have 9x squared, and then we have minus 16y squared equals 144. Let's double check. Uh, yeah, those are the right figures. So now what we'll do is divide both sides by 144. So 144, 144, 144. And now we just need to divide these out, uh, make it in this form. So we want and uh, just just no uh, value at the top or or one. And uh, we can do this just do this by hand because it's uh, <laughs> pretty fun or just a good exercise. So I'll just do this by hand. So note so nine over 144. A good way I like uh, dividing is just just splitting this up. This is going to be 3 times 3. And then the bottom here is divided by 2. So that's just going to be 70 times 2 is 140. So this is going to be 72 times 2. And we can't cancel anything still. So 72 divide that by 2 again. This is going to be, well, 36 times 2. It gets to 72. Because 70, yeah, yeah, 70 divided by 2 is 35. Then there's an extra 1. So then we have 36 times 2 times 2 over 3 times 3. And now this is 3 and 6. That's just going to be, well, uh, 12 times 3. You could just easily see that uh, 12, 3 goes into it 1. Then it's going to have a second one over there. Or actually the other way around, uh, 3 goes in here 
twice and this one here goes into 10 times 30. So anyways, it's gonna be three times three over uh, three times 12 times two times two. So threes cancel. Yeah, so threes cancel, we can keep, even keep going further. This 12, that's just three times four. Three over three times four, and this is two times two, that's going to be well times by four. Just, just combine those. So that what we end up having is this cancel, this cancels, and now we're left with one over 16 or four, four squared, so one over four squared. So there is either of the ones that we can pick, like this or this. And also for the other one, and we have the other one, it was over here, 16 divided by 144, and 16 over 144, this equals two. Yeah, this equals two. Well, let's look at above here. So 16 is the same thing as writing. Before I get to that, I'm just gonna look at this uh, This 144, we'll just get to this point over there. This is going to be uh, 36 times two times two, just to save some time, put it in that form. And now we can cancel some twos. 16 is just eight times two. And then this cancels, this cancels. And now we have an eight and 36. And eight goes into 36. Actually, not eight, I mean nine goes into 36 four times. And that's gonna be useful because eight is just equal to four times two. And now we have a two there. And then 36 is gonna be nine times, nine times four. So yeah, nine times four is 36. Then we have an extra two there. The twos cancel, this cancels, this cancels. So this equals to one over nine, which equals the same thing as one over three squared. So I'll just circle it like that. And I'll circle this whole thing as well, like that. Yeah, so thus what we end up having is, so now that we divide this all out, this just equals to one on that side. So then we end up having, thus we get, I'll just write this down again, nine x squared minus 16 y squared equals 144. This becomes, I'll put it down like this, this becomes uh, one over 16 or one over uh, four like that. So it's gonna be x squared over 16 minus, this is gonna be y squared over nine equals to one, which equals to, uh, also you could write it as x squared over, uh, this is gonna be four squared minus y squared over three squared like that. And that just equals to one. So there's what we have. Yeah, now what we have is, well we have, so I'll write thus, a is equal to four and then b is equal to three. So the, that means that our c value, or c squared equals to, it's going to be a squared plus b squared. So remember a squared is just gonna be this 16, equals 16 plus b squared is just nine. This equals to 25, like that. So then c is equal to, and we just want the positive value of it. It's gonna be, again, you could do plus or minus square root the 25 which just equals two. And we're just gonna look at the positive one because again, uh, uh, the foci is gonna be plus or minus anyway, so this is just, uh, just a minor thing. So not actually gonna change anything. And we just want C as positive. So this is gonna be five, like that. So then C equals two, five over there. Yeah, so finally we could put this all together, thus, and now to just conclude, we have now the uh, the hyperbola x squared over four squared minus y squared over three squared equals to one. And we have the foci. Foci is at plus or minus the c, which is five and zero on the x axis, like that. And then the vertices are at plus or minus a, which is four. So four and zero. And then we have the, um, yeah, the asymptote lines. So asymptotes now are, asymptotes are just gonna be y equals to plus or minus b, which is three, over four, which is a, like that. And there is what we have. And if we were to graph this all out. Yeah, so here I quickly went on Desmos calculator and just added it, and also there's a x over there. And uh, yeah, it's here I graphed it out. So this is with the red is x squared divided by four squared minus y squared over three squared, there it is. And this is the foci is at this point right here. That's it, that's at our five and zero. This is at our uh, negative five and zero, the foci. And then there is the vertices right over here is actually at four. 
And here, actually, I just quickly pause and just added the gr uh, grid line. Just copy it uh, again. And as you can see, there's the one, two, three, four, and there is the vertice right over there at four and zero. And then here is the other one at negative four and zero, or at a and zero. And there is the yeah, there is the uh, asymptote lines, and they're always approaching it, but never reaching it. And this is our y equals two, three over four x. And as you can see, you can even see it from here. Uh, you you go, yeah, you rise. Remember, it's rise over run, so you rise three, one, two, three, and then you run four, one, two, three, four, and there is the spot right there. And also the one at the bottom is here. You go down three, and then you go four to this side, and this is our y equals two negative three over four x like that and uh, yeah the this opens up as I drawn earlier as, uh, in the top of the video yeah so that's how the problems go open up left and right anyways that is all for today hopefully you follow along this uh, very useful uh, illustration on just uh, going over an example on hyperbolas going from this form put it in standard form and then again we just have pretty much the same shape over here just uh, uh, just horizontal hyperbola. So as long as you know it's x squared minus y squared, it's going to be a horizontal one. Like this, and if it's the other way around, y squared minus the x squared, uh, then it's going to be the vertical one, as uh, I showed in my uh, derivation video. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, uh, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link in the description below, as well as viewing these notes in article format on Steemit. And uh, yeah, make sure to check out my uh, private Discord chat room and. Um, and chat with like-minded people as well as checking my, my uh, math forums and post any cool math or science related stuff you find. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.